Hey y'all, it's Lynn in the kitchen and we are at the Antidote Juice Bar today with Scorch and Erin and we are going to be making some cold pressed juices. So Erin and Scorch, what are we making today? So today we're making the beet mix. Okay. It is a beet juice that has mm -hmm. cucumber, kale, celery, and um, apple, and beets, of course. <laughs> well, that's one of my favorites, too. It's really good. Yeah. And, and it's nice because sometimes beets can be really sweet, but mm -hmm. all the greens kind of mellow it out and make it um, more well-rounded. It's delicious. So what makes this different from any other types of juices? So our cold press juice is a really interesting way of extracting all the nutrition out of the fruit and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So there's several different types of ways to take uh, juice out of our produce and fruit. Okay. One is the uh, centrifugal way and it okay. is a, a type of juicer that spins, mm -hmm. it shreds the produce and then it also pushes all of the juice out to the side, catches it inside of a little reservoir mm -hmm. and right into your cup. It's a delicious way to have a juice, however yes. the best way to pull all the nutrition out and keeping all the enzymes mm -hmm. intact is the cold press. So the way this juicer works is there's a blade at the end of the chute and it chops up the produce in smaller pieces and it drops it into this bag. Um, and then once it's all been chopped up, turn on the press and the press squeezes all the juice out mm. and it comes out into there. So it's really efficient because a lot of the times um, with home juicers, the produce is left, mm -hmm. um, but what you have left at the end is still really wet. There's a lot of juice left behind. Right. So this is more efficient. I saw that. Anything. Nice. Yeah. I think I had every last juice here, and I can yeah. definitely say that it's one of a kind. You have Delicious. Tried all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how did y'all get started with this business? Uh, so we actually started our first day on November 1st of 2019. Mm -hmm. um, we made juice in our kitchen wow. on Halloween night and we actually missed Halloween celebrations because we were juicing for so Ooh, long, we yeah. didn't get to go out. But um, the next morning we were out on Decatur Street mm -hmm. selling juices to all the bartenders, wow. all the service industry workers because we knew they were probably hungover from celebrating from mm -hmm. Halloween mm -hmm. and we figured they would need something to help them get through their shift. And um, we were both in the service industry almost our entire adult lives and wow. some of our teenage years too. Mm. So we know how it is where mm -hmm. a lot of people in the service industry, I mean, they really work you to the bone when you're oh, in yeah. the industry. So you don't always have a lot of time mm -hmm. to prepare your food before you go in. Mm -hmm. uh, and especially if you're working a double, double back to the back. Mm -hmm. So that's why we bring it to you and it's healthy and it's pure yeah. and there's no questions about whether or not this truly is healthy or if it just looks healthy. It really is something that will help you get through your shift. Let's get to the juice. How did you all meet? We met about four years ago okay. at Red Dress Run, actually. And nice. we were actually both wearing all black, which mm. was kind of funny. Um, it's actually kind of crazy because uh, that day was really significant for a lot of reasons. Mm. Scorch had been sober for almost two years. Wow. His sobriety birthday or anniversary was like a week later. Um, but that day, I was sober too. I was just intentionally not drinking yeah. for a month. Like mm -hmm. I was taking a little break from alcohol. Mm -hmm. But when I met Scorch, I decided to make that a permanent decision. I realized Good. that my life was actually really great without alcohol. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of fun together without the alcohol. And basically the day we met was our first date. Mm -hmm. We um, talked about how we both had this dream of opening a juice bar. And now, four years later, here we, we are. <laughs> wow, this is great. This is very inspirational. Tell me about these little shots I've been seeing. The ginger shots are great. It's a nice way to boost your energy, your yes. metabolism, and it is just, and I know it sounds weird, but it is refreshing. It is a phenomenal uh, juice uh, supplement, basically, yeah. is what it is. And it is really good. Here at the Antidote Juice, we do a little ritual where we take a ginger <laughs> shot, and we throw our head back, we pop our legs up, and we just shoot it. And you it's know what? Awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. It is love it. It's yeah. a nice way to have it. It is. So, 
Tell me a little bit about this juice cleanse. I just did it for the first time about a week ago maybe. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So for anyone that's considering doing a juice cleanse, it, it's really a great way to restart all your health goals, okay? Yes. And, and I know that in life, we always wait for the perfect opportunities and sometimes they come and they go and mm -hmm. we never really can nail it down. Yeah. All opportunities are a great opportunity to reset your health goals. Your first day doing it, of course, you're gonna feel like it's not a normal thing. Yeah. The next day, you're gonna feel a little more energized and by the third day, yeah. mm -hmm. you're gonna be flying like a kite. And that's what I love about the, the juice cleanse and giving yourself, giving your brain the nutrition that it needs to mm -hmm. function and also resetting your health goals. Yes, I will say after the second day, I felt like more clarity. Like I was able yeah. to focus and concentrate more. Focus, you felt light. Yeah, the third day oh. just like hit home. I was like, okay, this is why you make it three days as opposed to two days, right? Oh yeah, I think yeah. three days is the way to do it. Make sure oh yeah. the food you put back in your body after the cleanse is intentional. Yeah. But that becomes easy because mm -hmm. after challenging yourself for three days, mm -hmm. You wouldn't want to mess that up by like going right back you don't. to your old habit. You, I didn't. Like a mental thing. Oh yes, right? that's perfect. Yep. Even though the whole three days of the cleanse, you're probably fantasizing about yes. burgers and steaks and stuff like that, right? And, because I'm a foodie, I was yeah. looking at pictures and I had to cut it off and <laughs> stop doing it. But like you said, on the third day, the on the fourth day, I didn't really crave yeah. it a lot. That that's was that the awesome. cravings were not there, what which did is you good. Do to break your to what break it, like salad. It was yeah. a salad. The yeah. salad was the first thing, and I actually posted That's it a good to you. Yeah. Thing to yeah. Break it with. Mm -hmm. If you do something too heavy, it'll um, hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was yeah. a salad. Good. Yeah. You're both sober. I hear about a lifestyle brand, the next sober life. You want to tell me more about that? So the uh, next sober life is something that I'm so excited about. Mm -hmm. I was an alcoholic, mm -hmm. a drug addict, living mm -hmm. in New Orleans in the service industry. Wow. And I was a needle in the haystack. Mm -hmm. And we get put in this real compromising situation mm -hmm. where socializing becomes something that maybe isn't the healthiest thing for yeah. us. The next sober life is a movement that allows this inclusive wow. sober community with non-sober wow. allies mm -hmm. to enjoy the same space. The next sober life is about nutrition and goal setting. Mm -hmm. It's okay. kind of something New Orleans was missing. Yes, absolutely. That's great. You said two things, inclusive and enjoyable. Oh, yeah. And that's great that you're including everybody, regardless of if you're sober or you're not sober, right? Right. Yeah. And I really feel that. it's mm -hmm. You should be able to enjoy your friends mm -hmm. and enjoy the socializing of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And we want to normalize that whole misconception mm -hmm. that Drinking or friends, mm -hmm. which one is it gonna be? Mm -hmm. Why can't you just have both? So I was not so much of an alcoholic mm -hmm. or a drug addict, but I just liked to party. I didn't realize that it was holding me back from yeah. realizing my full potential. And right. I was really interested in nutrition and health. I was actually getting my master's in public mm -hmm. health and I was I knew how to eat right, I knew yeah. how to exercise, and I did all of that very consistently. But I never realized that the one piece that was missing from my routine was cutting out this extra source of calories, yeah. carbs, fat, um, sugars, which was alcohol. How did it make you feel when you quit drinking, like, so, physically? It's actually crazy. I, I went through a lot of changes mm -hmm. the first couple of years that I was sober. Mm -hmm. I really started realizing a lot of the facades of our culture. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I also started realizing some of my flaws mm -hmm. that I was always able to blame on you know, short-term thing, saying, oh, it's just something that I did when I was drunk, mm -hmm. or I was just hungover. And on top of that, I lost like 30 pounds awesome. without even trying. That's so awesome. I was yeah. exercising less, mm -hmm. but the alcohol was just, it just sits on top. Yeah. All the carbs. Mm -hmm. Antidote juice is the nutritional aspect yeah. of the sober movement, of the next sober life, because mm -hmm. We believe in fueling your body with the right things. Yeah. And if you do choose to quit drinking, it will heal your body mm -hmm. from all of those years of abuse. I see, yeah. All together now, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. Next sober life and beyond, okay? Awesome, yeah. yeah. What are the plans for expanding in the future? 
So at this point, the climate of our economy, we have to introduce each product a little bit at a time. Okay. Juice is our uh, mainstream, and we also have salads, and we also have cold brew coffee, which we're excited to roll yeah. out. We do all the cold brewing in a commercial cold brewer in the back of our production. And we also will be having hot espressos Can't and wait for that. cappuccinos. We're also going to be doing smoothies soon. Smoothies yeah. too? Oh, and wow. We are so passionate about nutrition. Yes. We're not going to be putting any kind of, you know, extra added stuff. Like, you know, when you go to some larger smoothie chain, yeah. but I won't name any names, mm -hmm. there's lots of hidden ingredients yep. that you just can't seem to cut out every time you try. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be adding any sugar to our sugar. smoothies. It's just going to be no ice, just pure vegetables, fruits, maybe Love some it. kind of um, yeah. supplement like a protein powder. And we make salads, everything from scratch. Whoa. And so come on in guys for yes. the full experience. Where can we find you on social media? Um, on Instagram, we're at the Antidote Juice. Okay. Um, same thing on Facebook. Okay. And then our website is www.theantidotejuice.com. Okay. And then I'm Lynn in the City. You can find me on Instagram at Lynn in the City. And then also my website, lynnwesleycoleman.com. See y'all next time. Bye.